Hello friends, you are watching Bridican English. I am Sanoj Gautam, your trainer. And most of the people had demanded that we must come up with some learning videos so that that could help you in order to learn spoken English. So we have decided to start a series for all of you from zero level so that you could go with the flow and you could learn spoken English. First and foremost, I want to ask you a question. Do you often face problem while speaking English? Do you think so your grammar is not up to mark and you make mistakes while speaking English? So before we start this video, I want to tell you something that learning English is really quite easy. If you spare some time for learning English and practice the same, I'm sure it will be your cup of tea. So we are aimed at making English your cup of tea here in the online class. So today the topic for today is greetings. I believe this video will help you to learn how to get rid of the confusion which we have in greetings. Today we will discuss about greetings. What are greetings? Two types of greetings are there formal and informal. We'll also talk about that and then how to respond properly for the greetings. Suppose if somebody says hello, then how you are supposed to respond for the same. And if somebody says nice to meet you, how do you do, where have you been, long time no see. So for anything like that, I will tell you how to respond properly. So stay with me and watch the video till the end. I'm sure you would love this video and you'll be able to learn a few things that will make you an impactful speaker and you'll be able to express yourself confidently in front of anyone. So let's start the session as we are seeing here that we are going to talk about greetings. So what are greetings? How to greet someone? If you meet any person, whether you are meeting a unknown person or an unknown person, in both cases, before you start or you speak or you communicate, the first and foremost is to greet the person. I just give you an example. When you must have gone to your school, you would have said good afternoon, good morning. And when you get up in the morning, you say hi, hello, good morning to your parents. When you meet your friends, you say, hey buddy, what's up, how are you, long time no see. So these are the generally greetings. And if we try to understand this, that how to say hello in normal language. If you have to say hello to any person, then there are many ways that we are going to learn today. So pay attention towards what I'm telling you. So as I've told you, what are greetings? I've written here some of them, not all, but most of them I've written here. Hi, hey, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. These greetings go as per the time. According to time, we use these greetings. Then comes, how do you do? What's up? How's life? What's new? Happy to see you. Long time no see. Where have you been? So we are going to discuss all these things one by one. Okay, so now we are starting this session and I'm here to tell you what are formal greetings and informal greetings. Informal greetings we have hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night and good day. Although there are some other formal greetings, here this is, these are the informal greetings. Here these are the informal greetings. Hi, hey, howdy, your buddy, your mate, hey there. So these are the ways by which people generally, you know, greet each other. You will find some of the howdy, hey there, your buddy. These, these are, you know, kind of, you know, cool greetings generally youngsters use with their friends, family, their colleagues and in, when they are in school or they are you know, meeting any of their sibling, their cousins. So generally in informal way we use it. With the people who are known to us, we are very well acquainted with people, with those people. Now, if you are meeting anybody who is senior to you, that means your teacher, any of your boss or any person who is stranger to you, in that particular case you cannot say hi hey howdy right so that's not a right way to say when you have to say it in a formal way then you say hello good morning good afternoon good evening good night and good day hello is the most used english word the most used right even i wrote over there how to say hello to someone when i wanted to make you understand how to greet someone right 
then i said how to say hello to someone so hello is the most used term in english language all over the world almost everyone understands hello right so hello is something that we have to you know use every now and then and it's a formal greeting so if you want to reply for hello the reply would be hello itself you can say or if it is morning time then you can say good morning right okay now let's move towards the good morning good morning we have got you know a confusion that when to use good morning good afternoon and timing well if it is well if you are aware about it that's quite fine but if you are not then i'm here what is not good morning starts at this time right it starts at midnight till 11:59 and yeah there is one more warning understand my handwriting on your risk right so good morning starts at midnight good night starts at midnight 0 hours and ends at 1 to 12 i'll also tell you about the time chart how to tell time to someone then starts at 12 good afternoon starts till till when that's this that means 1659 then comes good afternoon it starts at 12 noon till 1659 right so till then you have to use good afternoon thereafter and if it is uh, 17th hour in the evening then there onwards we say good evening but again there is a problem people say when we are meeting somebody at 9 o'clock 8 o'clock 5 o'clock or even 11 o'clock then are we supposed to say good night no that's wrong you're not supposed to say good night because whenever you are meeting it's evening time even in the late evening you are supposed to say good evening okay until or unless it's your last meeting of your day and you are going if you are going then you can end up saying good night and if you are just you know leaving someone and it's the day time then you can say good day have a good day or you can say good day normally so if we talk about these formal greetings this is how we use them now if you ask me how to respond already i have told you hello you can say hello or good morning as for the time good morning you can say good morning but if you say just morning some people say morning some say morning according to you know their culture they just speak the way so if you say good morning and another person says morning so morning is a is an informal greeting right so you must say if somebody says good morning you must say good morning or you can say hello good afternoon goes the same way good afternoon good evening goes as good evening and good night goes as good night sweet dreams sleep tight anything that you want to say but that's again that you can say in the formal in normally if it is you know your formal circle or somebody from your office or any of your senior or that person is still stranger to you then simply you can say good night okay so i've told you about the formal ones now the informal ones if somebody says hi you can reply either hi or hello so response for hi and hello in informal greetings are hi and hello for hey again you can use hi hello so same kind of thing now this is howdy you must have heard it recently when indian prime minister narendra modi went to the united states of america there was a tagline howdy modi right howdy modi was related to how do you do modi so in the southern part of the united states people love to say howdy that means how do you do so this is what we do not use in formal language it is informal so that's why it is there so if somebody says howdy you can say i'm fine thank you pretty well i'm good like this you can reply i'll tell you about this later on when we ask about the question form of greetings then i'll tell you about the same and same these are the way hey there your buddy howdy hey 
hi these are the normal way of say hello but are the informal way so you can reply them in any way because again it hardly matters that you try to become more formal over there when somebody is using informal greeting but here if you are using formal greetings or somebody is there from your office and if you meet any person then simply what you can do is that these are the you know greetings and same way you can reply and I would tell you these greetings go according to time you have to keep the time factor in you know mind while speaking this and if you have any doubt about the same you can just leave a comment I'll let you know I'll make your clear what you can do is you can just leave a comment I'll tell you if you have any problem I'll try to reply you personally for the same so if you want you can just take a screenshot of the same and then we'll move forward towards the second part of the video